there! Welcome back to science class. It is great to have you here. Yes, you made the right choice. In this video, we will be talking about an interesting topic. The reasons behind why we have so many kinds of organisms and you will be able to know the people who started these theories. Let's get started! Have you heard about the theories of evolution? What is evolution? It is a change of inheritable characteristics of a biological population over successive generations. Why successive generations? It changed over time. Living organism needs to adapt to a new environment in order to survive and produce offspring. It occurs to species not with individuals. It means that if there is a change, it won't happen to the only organism. Rather, the change will occur to the entire species. And explains the diversity on Earth. That is why our Earth is so beautiful. We can see different kinds of plants, animals, and other living organisms. We have two well-known proponents under the theories of evolution. John Baptist de Lamarck with his theories of need, theory of use and disuse, and theory of acquired characteristics. And Charles Darwin with his natural selection. This is John Baptist de Lamarck. He was a French biologist, a well-known for being one of the earliest evolutionists. He is so dedicated with his studies of fossil records, and he was able to create his postulates known as Lamarckism. First is his theory of need. He believed that a change in the environment factors led to the origin of new needs among living organisms. They developed characteristics necessary for them to adopt in the given environment. He also have theory of use and disuse. He believes that organs not in use will disappear while organs in use will develop. And theory of acquired characteristics. Acquired characteristics of a living organism during its lifetime are inheritable and transmitted to the offspring so that it will have a greater chance of survival. Which means that Lamarck's theory of evolution was based around how organisms change during their lifetime and then pass these changes onto their offspring. For example, Lamarck believed that the giraffe had a long neck because its neck grew longer during its lifetime. It stretched to reach leaves in tall trees, meaning that each generation of giraffe had a longer neck than previous generations. Scientists rejected the theories of Lamarck. Lamarck suggested that the acquired characteristics which an organism gained through its life experiences are transferred to its next generation which is not possible since acquired characteristics does not bring any change to an individual's set of genes. The other way that Lamarck's theory has been proven wrong is the study of genetics. Darwin knew that traits are passed on, but he never understood how they are passed on. During the time when Darwin's first book first came out, Rigor Mendel, who discovered genetics, was just starting his experiments. This is Charles Robert Darwin. He was an English naturalist. He went on voyage which lasted five years of exploring the life on Earth. He explored many islands, and the most highlighted on his journey was the Galapagos Island. It took him 20 years to organize the data and develop his theory of evolution. The theory of natural selection means that individuals within a population with the most favorable traits for an environment survive and pass under traits. 
Here are the supporting details of the theory of natural selection. First, organisms produce many offspring and have potential to grow unchecked, which means that each generation has more offspring that can be supported by the environment. Because of this, competition takes place for limited resources. And variation exists within a species, but Darwin's time, they did not know that it was the result of mutations. Environment selects organisms with favorable traits. Darwin theory believed that organisms possess variation and this variation led to some being more likely to survive and reproduce than others. In terms of the giraffe, Darwin's theory would state that longer-necked giraffes were more likely to survive because they could eat leaves from taller trees. Therefore, more long-necked giraffes will be born. Longer-necked giraffes survived because they were a better fit for their environment. It is from this idea that we get the phrase, survival of the fittest. Mating between surviving populations of the same species may shift the abundance of a new breed of organisms because of mutation, gene combination, and natural selection. Then this may lead to speciation or formation of a new species and may subsequently increase biodiversity. We're done! Thank you for watching. See you again. Keep on learning. Bye.